My name is Morpheus. I'm a member of the Ron Paul Revolution. Not to be confused with the campaign, so, but, what we, but I really do believe that Ron Paul would be the best possible candidate that we could ever even hope to imagine as our next, next president of the United States of America. Right now, we have an opportunity to hurt the enemy when they are the weakest. Ron Paul has had excellent showings in all the, all the debates. He, the media is doing everything they can to marginalize him or to ignore him. If you notice when they do the newspaper articles, they always put Ron Paul near the end. I mean, they give him a mention, but they are definitely censoring the news through omission, okay? So what we need, what I'm doing, and what I'd like to encourage other people to do is to get on your phone bank and start, let's just light up the phones from now till the New Hampshire primary. So from now till the New Hampshire primary, we're gonna melt down the phone lines. And the Ron Paul campaign has an excellent tool to be able to call people. It's, it's www.bit.ley slash bank with a capital B on lowercase on Ron with a capital R. So the website is www.bit.ley slash bank on Ron with bank and Ron being capitalized. And on there it will have some information regarding the bank on the phone banking for Ron Paul. The system that you're going to see in the next you're going to the system you're going to see from the Ron Paul website that you can connect through that Bitly address is is one of the most professional systems I've seen. And there are some changes I would make and I'm going to go through what those changes are, what I do because there's on the Ron Paul site it says that we're calling for the Republican campaign. What it says is I'm calling, it says I'm calling for the Republican campaign. Well, I'm not calling for the Republican campaign because the Republicans are the ones that are trying to marginalize Ron Paul, okay? So I am not calling for the Republican campaign. I am calling as a Ron Paul volunteer. And then what I do is I ask them the questions and I do my best while I'm asking them the questions to steer them towards Ron Paul because I really don't care about those those polls. Those polls are just there to find out what you have accepted as truth. So my what I what I do is I am calling and I'm talking about Ron Paul. Now while I was calling, I was mentioning how he was the only one to have the most consistent record. The thing that most people that I've noticed, they want somebody that will beat, that can beat Barack Obama. And this is something that's very easy to overcome because Ron Paul has beaten incumbents on three separate occasions. I don't have the exact dates, but I do know that he has won against incumbents on three separate occasions. So we know that Ron Paul has the ability to win. He has the knowledge, he has the support, he, ha he has everything he needs to win. What needs to occur, and we, and we can do this, it's a, it's, we're fighting a war right now, we're at war, our government is at war with us. In order to change the outcome, we have to apply our pressure in the area when the, the, weak, the enemy is the weakest. And right now, the enemy is the weakest. They cannot handle a Ron Paul win in New Hampshire. They absolutely cannot handle it. It, it, it will rock the establishment when Ron Paul wins the New Hampshire primary. I'm gonna predict that he's going to win. Okay, this is my prediction for 2012. Right now is that Ron Paul will win the New Hampshire primary, okay? We're gonna just bury them, okay? And then what we're gonna do on the next uh, primary is I, my suggestion is I like every Ron Paul supporter to sign an affidavit that you are going to vote for Ron Paul and when we collect, and then we'll send all those affidavits into the Ron Paul headquarters and they can add them up and when the, the numbers of the affidavits don't add up to the number of the vote count then we'll have a, we'll have a big problem. So this will correct if we're having any vote, vote fraud and this will scare the bejesus out of them. So that's my that's the thing I'm going to suggest we start thinking about and and, and promoting is affidavits you know, not this exit poll, everyone who votes for Ron Paul, anyone who is a for sure Ron Paul supporter, we are going to mail them out 
a, um, a letter, an affidavit that they will have signed and notarized that they have, will vote for Ron Paul, and if the numbers don't add up to that, at least that total, then we'll know that they are they are rigging the, the, the votes. So anyway, that's what I'm going to suggest. Now, here's the enemy. And, and this is something I want to have everyone consider, is that every dragon has a kink, okay? They are a big, mighty dragon, but they have a kink, and their kink is the election. So the election, that's their, so they have all this armor, they have these walls, but they have a door right here. This is how they get in and out of the matrix, or whatever you want to say. I don't know what it, you know, what it is, but they have this wall, and they have us all here, okay? We're all here. And we're all fighting each other. You know, that's what they they want us to do is to fight each other. So they create controversy. So we're always fighting each other. Does okay? So we're all fighting each other here. And they got these big walls. You know, we're all in here too. You know, so this guy's fighting that guy. That guy's fighting this guy. This guy's fighting that guy. And that guy's fighting this guy. And they got their walls here. And they got to keep us away from this area because this is their legitimacy. Is how they, you know, their, their claimed legitimacy. Is, you know, this is claimed legitimacy. So, instead of fighting each other, and we're putting up signs, and all this is great. I was part of the, this project when we first started off in 2007 doing the Ron Paul Revolution. We have the signs, okay? Well, we need more close support right now. Right now, the focus is New Hampshire, okay? That's where we got to go. Right there, right at that point. Instead of us all fighting each other, we have and making signs and doing all these different things. This is the critical point, is right here, right there. That when we bust through this, and I'm not saying if, because I don't believe in ifs, we show a Ron Paul win in uh, New Hampshire, and I know it's short notice, or in, and in South Carolina, that's the next one after that, I don't have the dates, but New Hampshire is in, on Tuesday, so what we can do is smile and dial and light up New Hampshire. Okay, so we're going to light up New Hampshire right here, right at the point that they are weakest. Now they're going to have another one in South Carolina, so South Carolina, so based on what we do here, we are so my so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a text message in the in the notes that I want you to send out to all your friends. Okay, there'll be a text message in the body of the of of the YouTube. You send that out by text to anybody you know that's in the Ron Paul movement, inviting them to join the uh, effort to get Ron a first place win in New Hampshire. We will shake the crap out of these people. They will not know. Uh, think about it, when Adam Kokesh got arrested, we were melting down the phone lines in Washington, D.C., okay? Let's melt them down, but we're, gonna, we're not going to be melting them down on the side of our opponent. We are going to melt down the hearts of the people in New Hampshire. And what I'm going to suggest is every person say, and I'm going to suggest that we even have Ron Paul say this as well. Ron Paul has the highest donations of any Republican candidate in the military. Ron Paul, that should be our that needs to be our mantra. That's going to be my mantra when I'm calling. I'm going to put up some more videos. I'm probably get on the Ustream tonight. I'll get that loaded in there. Every time Ron Paul asks, answers a question, he needs to say, "You know what? I have the most donations from the military." So what does that tell you about my record with the foreign policy? The uh, the military is behind me. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to be. That's what I'm going to be telling people and leaving when I leave a message. I leave, when I leave a message when I talk when I I tell them. Ron Paul, Ron Paul, you need to look at him very strongly. Consider Ron Paul. I'm a I'm a, a volunteer. I'm not receiving any any Federal Reserve notes from their you know phony money to to get Ron Paul in. I'm going to put my labor in, and we can do this. We can. We need to have Ron Paul debating Barack Obama. Ron Paul debating Barack Obama. Ron Paul can beat Barack Obama. Ron Paul in a debate with Barack Obama, Obama would be like going to a, a gunfight armed with a peace shooter. Ron Paul make Barack Obama look like an utter moron in a debate. And he will do it so nicely that he won't even believe it. And because Ron Paul, he sticks to the issues, he, he, he would just, it would be a sight to behold to 
to see Ron Paul when I see Ron Paul debating Barack Obama, and that's how it's going to go down. Ron Paul, 2012, we get it back, okay? We are going to get it back. We can do this, we can do it, we can do it. We will, we must do this. We absolutely have to do this. This is a quote by a friend of mine named Bill Wilson. You know, I've never met him, I feel like I know him from your book. It goes like this. There's one who has all power. That one is God. May you find him now. Half measures availed us nothing. We stood at the turning point. We asked for his protection and care with complete abandon. So I'm asking, I'm asking my God to come down and help us out because right now we need it. A good plan implemented right now is way better than a perfect plan implemented in 10 minutes. We don't have 10 minutes. Right now is our opportunity. Now is our time. We can do this. We can send out the text message to everyone you know and then have everyone calling. It's a great system. It's so easy to get done. Even, even a salesman can do it. <laughs> so that's it. I'm Morpheus. Peace out.